Welcome to the Double KO Late Night Show. So with Multiverses being a big hit on Twitch, I think it's safe to say majority of the FGC is excited for this game. So I thought it'd be fun to make a list of popular FGC personalities and who I thought that they would main. Daigo Umahara. If you're unfamiliar with this guy, he's most famously known for being the greatest Street Fighter player of all time, aka the GOAT. He's also a part of Evo Moment number 37. He's a character loyalist when it comes to who he picks. He usually sticks to characters like Ryu or Guile. So I see him playing someone like Shaggy. Shaggy's the closest that we're going to get to a Shoto character in Multiverses as of right now. He's listed as a bruiser character. He's really easy to use. He has a great combo game and kills very early. He even has a projectile to control spacing. I see Dago playing footies, making incredible reads to finish opponents off while playing Shaggy. He's become a content creator for Panda Global and still places well at tournaments, known for being a top player across multiple fighting games and a god at Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Justin Wong. Justin normally picks top tier characters and is known for his Chun-Li in Street Fighter Third Strike. I think he would use Garnett. To start, she has a resemblance to Chun-Li in a way. Garnett's listed as a brawler but is definitely more like a hybrid character. She has a lot of hidden potential, she has a lot of kill power and possible touch of death combos. She also partners well with every character in the cast. I think Justin would really mix the meta if he chose to use Garnett. One of the most memorable and loved figures in the Smash scene, the one and only Mango. He's easily one of the most recognizable figures in the FGC and because of the Smash Bros documentary, Mango is considered one of the five gods of Melee. Mango is known for his flashy playstyle and really bringing in hype moments with his Fox and Falco. I see him bringing out Mango moments using Harley Quinn. Harley is a very good character with big disjointed hitboxes and multiple kill paths. She's considered an assassin character and it's a very fitting class for her. She can kill early or even with a very stealthy bomb when you least expect it. I can easily see Mango making plays with Harley Quinn like he does with his Falco. Another of the five gods, Hungrybox. He's arguably the most popular content creator in the Smash scene and is the best Jigglypuff in the world in Melee. With him being such a big figure in the Smash scene, any character Hungrybox picks will be closely monitored. I can see Hbox making really similar rest plays with a character like Taz. Taz is listed as a bruiser character and it's spot on. He's one of the most hated characters in the open beta because of his tornado attack. His tornado attack kills crazy early and seems to be unpunishable. The move beats out everything. Thing. All in all, I think Hbox ear splitting screams and Taz's mumbles make for a good pair. Leffen's known for his villain arc in the Smash community and crossing over into DBZ fighters. With Leffen's background and his playstyle, I see him using a character like Arya Stark. Arya is classified as an assassin character and she's very combo heavy. I think this pairing would make for good content in the early stages of Multiverse's meta. Another big personality in the FGC, playing Dragon Ball fighters and Mortal Kombat comes in the form of Sonic Fox. Now admittedly, I'm not very familiar with Sonic Fox, I just know a few things about Sonic's career, but I think the most fitting character for Sonic Fox would be playing Velma. Velma was listed as an experimental character, but the devs found a home for her and as a support character. Velma's playstyle is a mix of long distance attacks, finding clues and capturing them to send opponents in a squad car off to the blast zone. I can easily see Sonic Fox taking Velma and turning her into a zoning demon and easily one of the most hated characters in the FGC. Known for being a top player in multiple games, but best known for being a top player in Street Fighter, Punk. With Punk, I had a hard time placing him with a character because I can easily see him picking up a player like Shaggy or Jake and Finn, but I ended up falling on Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is listed as a tank character, but she's definitely an all around character and she's going to be a problem as the game's meta progresses. She has a simple combo game, but with a high skill floor when it comes to her inputs. She has kill power and she's pretty fast and she has good stage control with her wit. I can see Punk taking this character and forcing nerf conversations. One of the most legendary figures in the FGC is Nii. With a dominating 10 year run at being one of the best Tekken players, I had to add him onto this list. I'd really love to see what he would bring to multiverses. Because Nii is a larger than life Tekken player, I can see him maining a larger than life character like Iron Giant. I have a feeling he'd pay him pretty well considering he's similar to Metal Jack. Iron Giant is listed as a tank character and is the biggest body in the cast. He takes a lot of damage and has a pretty decent combo game with command grabs. I can see Nii and Iron Giant going to any tournament and being a definite bracket demon. Goichi, known as the god of Melty Blood, 
and an anime fighter specialist. With him being an anime fighter specialist, I can imagine him gravitating towards characters like Steven or Garnett, but I ended up falling on Finn. Finn is listed as an assassin, but his skills go far beyond that. With his money pouch, he has such a creative playstyle where he can buy buffs. He has a sword, so he has pretty decent disjointed attacks and big hitboxes that come with him. He has great kill power, and I can see Goichi bringing Finn to the front lines of this game. Tokido, one of the Japanese gods at Street Fighter, and is known for his multiple EVO wins. Tokido is known for his amazing personality and playing Akuma in Street Fighter. He's built a reputation for playing characters that lean into the dark side, so I think it'd be fitting to put him with a character like the Dark Knight himself, Batman. Batman's listed as a bruiser character, meaning he's good at getting inside and mixing it up in good old fashioned fisticuffs. But he's able to create smoke screens and use projectiles to gain stage control. His grappling hook gives him more stage control and recovery and he can even use it on opponents. This partnership between Tokido and Batman could bring home more evil wins to Japan. Next up, easily one of the biggest and most recognizable figures in the FGC, Mr. Maximilian Dude. Max is by far the biggest content creator in the FGC and has a history of playing Street Fighter 3rd Strike competitively. I can see him gravitate to a character like Batman, but when he tries Superman, he finds his main. Superman's listed as a tank character, and this couldn't be more spot on. He has impressive speed for a tank, and he's very hard to kill. He's also got projectiles and can combo into command grab that kill offstage at the top of the blast zone. I think Superman's a good fit for Max, and can also inspire his fan base to pick him up too. Next up with 6 EVO wins, we have one of the most decorated Street Fighter players from Korea. With Infiltration having the mindset of a winner, I can see him using a character that's considered an A or S tier. When choosing a character, I think he'd go with Bugs Bunny. Bugs is listed as a mage and ranged fighter. The issue is, this is a flat out lie. Bugs can do serious damage up close and hits you like a truck from the distance. He has crazy stage control with his dig ability and can really mix you when it comes to what he pulls out of his bag of tricks. Infiltration can easily stay ahead of the pack using Bugs. A content creator I don't think oh anyone expected God. to see on this list, oh Low Tier God. Now if I'm being honest, I don't know a lot about Low Tier God, I just know that about 90% of his content is him rage quitting, and of the very few videos I've seen him playing Smash, there's no difference. That said, I see him picking up a beginner's character like Kirby, and the closest character to that in my opinion is going to be Jake the Dog. Jake is a bruiser class, and his body's super stretchy and turns into anything he wants, so his arms become huge disjoints and hitboxes. He also drops houses on people, and similar to Kirby in Smash, he hates characters as well. I don't see low tier god making waves in the game or anything, but I do see him using Jake to make content. One of the legends in the NBC2 world, Yipes. Yipes is known for his commentary. You know what? Now I can get it off my chest now that we don't play this game. Joey, I always thought you sucked, bro. <laughs> and his competitive history in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I can see Yipes being very comfortable controlling multiple characters on stage. So it's a no brainer I think he would main Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry have to be some of the most cleverly crafted characters in any FGC game. Tom and Jerry are listed as ranged mage characters and they are very unique when it comes to playing against because like bugs they can mess you up from short range or long range but unlike bugs they can spread apart and attack you from two sides. I can see Yipes calling in Jerry for nice assist combos and definitely showing how the character should be played. Perfect Legend. He's a player that plays at a crazy skill floor across multiple games. He has multiple tournament wins but is probably more well known for his Mortal Kombat career and his rivalry with Sonic Fox. Perfect Legend has enough game sense to realize that the only created character from player first games might be busted. He hits like a heavyweight from a distance and can also set up traps and give himself buffs. His edge guarding is next level and in doubles he's a must have partner because he can bring you back from across the stage. Rain Dog and Perfect Legend seem like a good team that can 13-0 anyone. Lastly, I want to bring up Mewtwo King. Known as one of the five gods, he's called a CPU that bleeds frame data and frame perfect inputs. It's only the right choice to see Mewtwo King place all his talent and skill into one of the most technically difficult characters to play, Steven Universe. In a platform fighter, the standard is normally, I knock you off the stage and you try to get back on. Steven has a little different approach. He can literally build shields and barriers to manipulate situations. If Steven isn't considered it now, he'll easily become one of the best characters in the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like. I had a lot of fun coming up with theories of uh, who, what, what players remain what character. So if you guys enjoyed that, let me know down in the comments. If you have any friends that would like to see this video, share it with them. All right, y'all. If you haven't already, please join the pod by hitting that subscribe button below. I'll be back with another video pretty soon. Peace. Wait your return, warrior.